welcome back to new exercise all dimensions are in millimeter so this is our model and uh, you will see here section view so if you see the top view we will start with this outer circular body and this diameter you will see at bottom 71 millimeter and the depth from here you will see 9 millimeter okay then at center there is a 47.5 millimeter and uh, 15 millimeter this width and corner radius r4 and uh, how much this depth 20.5 millimeter from bottom edge so let's do this you have to first choose any one plane unit i'll keep millimeter from here let's say top plane now activate circle tool click at center and expand activate the smart dimension and this one is going to be 71 millimeter okay now at the same okay let's expand this extrude and here from we will keep as it is direction i'll keep blind and 9 millimeter according to drawing rest keep as it is uncheck real view now we will start the second sketch from this sketch activate circle tool draw a circle then i am going to activate some more lines here line tool draw one line vertical line make sure this line is vertical now select these two lines construction line and this line and click mirror entity now it is mirror smart dimension now the first diameter is 47.5 millimeter the gap between these 15 millimeter okay and uh, let's try to mirror this so activate mirror entity and I am going to mirror these two lines mirror about even though let's mirror this center line also which help us look select outer edge convert entity even though you can sketch no problem but there is a tool convert entity so you can simply copy now activate trim entity now here too many unnecessary lines so let trim power trim just press left mouse and drag and see it's going to trim okay if you found some dimensions are missing because this is un under defined so define few dimensions so that our drawing will be fully defined okay now this seems fully defined even though trim entity i'll trim this inside also power trim activate power trim and drag and trim now we have one close profile so simply activate extruded boss base feature and here the depth it's 20 from bottom 20.5 minus 9 9 is the we have to subtract this bottom one so this is going to be 11.5 if you want to check evaluate major and select these two faces and here you will see normal distance 20.5 that's fine now here i am going to activate click this this fillet constant size fillet tangent propagation full preview and the radius going to be 4 millimeter now let me select all four edges see even you can select like this now let's start to create this top face you will see here corner radius 5.5 and uh, the center radius 31 and there is a gap center distance 35 millimeter 
and this one we need to extrude up to 39 millimeter from bottom face and then there is a two holes okay let's create there is a two hole and that is also at 35 millimeter and this hole diameter okay you will see here 5 millimeter and depth is 7.5 millimeter a sketch now let me activate circle tool okay simply activate center line connect this center line with this select this point and this midpoint one more important relation select the line horizontal equal that's fine move cursor and you will see tangent symbol then click mirror entity and i am going to select this line make sure you selected copy and this is our mirror line or mirror about again activate mirror and this time i am going to select we need here vertical line okay we are here we found some problem okay go inside this is not located before at center now it's located at center activate mirror entities again select these two lines mirror about this say okay let's define thirty five millimeter this diameter thirty one millimeter and and this radius going to be five point five into two that's fine now even though you can trim or keep as it is it's up to you but let's try to trim power trim now still we have a closed geometry extrude now this is going to be 39 minus 20.5 say okay now activate hole wizard i am going to choose here hole matrix doll hole and size is 5 if you show custom size 5 mm 118 degree and keep end condition blind 7.5 mm and up to shoulder uncheck this near side position click on the face and move cursor near you will see plus sign place again keep cursor near edge you will find center point of this arc place there and skip key to out now this is fully defined this sketch simply say yes look if i am going to say right no not right front section view okay look now here let's create this cut out see 18 mm the diameter 23 here 18.5 then there is a diameter 15 and at bottom 31 section a 31 and height also 9 mm you will see here and the second one is little tricky 30 angle given this bottom distance 25 16 minus 9 is going to be 7 and corner radius 2 mm so let's try we can choose any plane if we, i'll choose right plane that's perfect let me select one center line now activate line up to here go little inside and 
and uh, this is going to be I think up to here. Exit. Now it is time to define. Select this outer one and this one move cursor out and you will see the diameter and this is going to be 23 millimeter. Now the second one 15 millimeter fine and the bottom one it is going to be 31 millimeter and this point 25 this is going to be 25 right ok. Again some more dimensions we need to define or distance from bottom it is 16 millimeter. Now angle overall angle 30 so the half side should be 15 degree activate fillet 2 millimeter and let me select this end. See look this is fully defined sketch. So go to feature and activate revolve cut feature. Now this is not closed profile so it is asking you would you like to sketch to be automatically closed say yes. Now by default it took the axis of revolution this is the line of center we want to cut up to 360 degree. So, keep 360 degree end condition blind say yes ok. Now we will say front plane section view ok. Look now there is a one counter board hole see 9 depth 5.5 9 and there is a bottom 5.5 hole and 6 number of holes this depth also 9 millimeter and uh, this is located at radius 59. You will see these are the vertical so we will start one and then you use circular pattern tool to create select this face sketch activate circle tool draw circle and make sure you selected here for construction activate smart dimension 59 millimeter. Now exit now just simply go to hole wizard select here legacy hole counter bore ok. Now come down the first bottom diameter diameter of this hole it is going to be 5.5 .5, ok depth we will keep through all. So, you cannot change the depth here. If you keep blind then you can change depth here. So, that is 9 millimeter it is up to us then bore diameter 9 millimeter fine and the depth of bore diameter 5.5 millimeter ok. Go to position click on this and place here at this point hold shift key and select these two points horizontal now this is fully defined this case isometric view say ok. Now here choose circular pattern now axis I will choose this circular face 360 degree equal spacing you have you must choose 6 number of instances we need feature already the hole selected say ok. Now if you measure the angle between these two it is going to be 30 degree that is fine. <coughs> now let us make these hole these two holes this is located 9 millimeter from above this base look at here 10 millimeter 2 millimeter is the depth then there is one hole up to 16 millimeter and the diameter 5.7 angle 118 then at center there is a hole 2.5 millimeter and similarly in other side then one hole comes here 47 20 this center distance 2.5 and it is up to here. 
so let me first hide this and uh, we have to choose here right plane a sketch now activate line tool and uh, let's say i am going to create one geometry like this let me create one center line now define this 10 mm 5.7 mm 2 mm and uh, the distance goes from here to here 16 mm that's fine even though i am going to put this dimension 2.5 mm okay now let's try to place this one okay here one more thing is balance the angle and this is going to be 118 divided by 2 it's 59 degree that, that's fine okay just place near here and uh, let by default now define the dimension bit from bottom edge 9 mm look this is fully defined this sketch let me create mirror entity now select all mirror about this line say okay now activate line tool and connect from this end to this end that's it even if you find you can delete any one line and connect this line with this point now this is fully defined sketch activate here revolve cut would you like to close say yes now here you have to choose a line axis of revolution i am going to choose this line 360 degree blind say okay let's select right plane section view okay look one more thing is balance so let's add let's add here two holes now select both the holes equal connect with center line first make it vertical then select the center origin point and line and create relation make midpoint a smart dimension 46 diameter 25 isometric view let's activate extruded cut feature and in depth we will keep from same here i'll choose two next what is the next next is the this inside face of hole say yes now i'll show you in section view right plane section view say okay look how this is going to cut up to this hole so this is a simple tutorial for the beginners those who want to learn solid works i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching